Vineyards, fields and forests dominate the landscape of Burgundy. Farming has been a way of life here for generations. Coming here is in some ways like stepping back in time. The sleepy village of Ige is home to a 13th century chateau, which in turn houses a restaurant serving traditional French cuisine. In the chateau gardens, chef Olivier Pons grows all his own herbs. In all his cooking, he tries to use exclusively local fresh produce. My cuisine is based on produce from here in the region, on everything that grows in the immediate area. Early in the morning, local firms deliver all the ingredients he needs that are not otherwise growing in his garden. Madame Michel brings Bresse chicken, considered a real delicacy. The chickens are bred in the region of Bresse in eastern Burgundy. The most important element for my cooking is my top-class suppliers. When you hold a chicken like this in your hands, you understand immediately the famous saying. It describes Bresse as the queen of chickens and the chicken of kings. With its red comb, white plumage and blue-grey legs, the brass chicken almost wears the French national colours. Only a few farms specialise in their breeding. For four months, the free-range chickens are fed with maize grown directly on the farm. Everything else they get for themselves in the field. What makes breast chicken so unique is the landscape here and what grows here. If they were bred somewhere else, they'd taste different. It's the damp ground and the grasses that grow here that give the breast chicken its particular taste. Olivier Pons shows us how to make breast chicken in cream sauce with fresh oyster mushrooms. First, he sautes carrots and onions in fresh local butter. Then he adds the chicken pieces. Thyme, bay leaves and rosemary are added to the pot. Then chicken stock is poured over the top and the whole thing is boiled until the liquid has halved. It would be a shame to destroy the taste of this great food simply because you don't know how to prepare it properly. I experimented repeatedly until everything was perfect. Every minute and every degree in the temperature helps determine the final taste. The chicken is baked in the oven at 170 degrees Celsius for 25 minutes. Then he adds fresh mushrooms, which he has cut up and fried in butter. After that comes a layer of fresh local cream. The cream also has that typical press taste. You can tell immediately that the cows have eaten the same grass. It goes perfectly with our chicken. The chicken is returned to the oven for another 20 minutes. Olivier Pons then mixes up eggs, flour, milk and grated potato and fries them up for a side dish. In this 700-year-old chateau, this meal looks like a royal banquet. The food is served up directly at the table. It all belongs together, the cuisine and the architecture. I'm not looking to reinvent French cooking. I want to uphold our culinary traditions. All the banquets that have been held within these walls over the centuries have celebrated all the various eras of French cuisine. So I'm just building on that. The brass chicken is served with a burgundy red wine. Truly a feast fit for a king. Thank you.